Hello everybody! Today we are going to show a couple of new features we introduced in the latest notebook app. We have a brand new way of adding snippets. We call it the Wonder Wheel. Click on the type to add a snippet. Executing adds a new snippet of the same type to the bottom of the notebook. You can execute snippets also pressing Ctrl plus Enter on your keyboard. Pressing plus adds the same type as before. We get a few snippet actions over in the mouse. Rearrange, expand and contract, and delete. Let's delete the last two. And now let's hide the code from the first two. Move the second one to the top and expand the first one. Session properties can be set by clicking on the cloud icon. It will list all active sessions. In this case, there's one for Scala. Here you can add session properties. Close and recreate a session. Let's close the Scala session. As there are no sessions, it will create a new one on execute. Let's change the driver memory and cores for the Scala session. Press Recreate to apply the new properties. Some snippets have specific settings for their type. You can change those by clicking on the cog icon. This will only affect the specific snippet. In this case, a jar type where we can execute classes from a jar file. This particular one logs hello world and you can view the logs by clicking on the log icon in the lower right corner. We've added a new snippet type, the R shell. It supports showing charts in the result too, in this case a bar plot. The editor is brand new. It's quite smart and can assist you with, for instance, showing file paths in the file browser by double-clicking them. The assist panel has been revamped too. You can show or hide it, or resize it to fit your needs. And as in the other apps, you can quickly sample data. The Hive and Impala snippets are aware of the databases and will autocomplete your statements. Here you can also double click to take you to the details for a specific table. We hope that these new features will help you to get more out of your data. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.